This is from the F23 crankshaft. What I'm thinking of doing on this one, you see that line right there? It's almost the size of the pilot bearing right there. I'm gonna use this as a fixture. And I'm gonna bolt this to the back of the crankshaft, which is I'm gonna show you later on. And I bought one of these, one and a quarter. And I'm gonna drill that and use this as a guide. That way this would not wobble. What I'm trying to do is, remember my plan on this motor is uh, H2B. And I have to shape some material off from the crankshaft so this pilot bearing will be sit firmly. There will be no gap in between these two when I bolt this on there. Otherwise, this will be rocking back and forth. And this is the crank, which is it already have an outline on there. I just need to make it flat. So all I need is just bring it in maybe 1 16th of an inch or so and then use my grinder just to flatten it out. And I set my crankshaft as straight as much as I can. That way when I, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Today's episode is create a or shape a material off from the crankshaft that way the pilot bearing and the flywheel will sit against it firmly with no gap yeah this one it doesn't have that dowel pin it'll be nice if you still have it but no biggie yeah that tool is walking not really a good idea let's see <laughs> well it worked <laughs> okay I'm not getting any on that side so I'll put some pressure Okay. I don't want to go too much here. Kids, do not try this at home. <laughs> Always do your research. No, seriously. Yeah, I don't want you to uh, to do the same thing like I did. Uh, I'll just give you an idea, but make sure that you do your research. Okay, I think I'm off a little bit. Yeah, it's not quite centered. Let me get the flywheel. Thank you. 
I'm gonna do this multiple times. I wanna make sure I don't remove so much material on there that will give some uh, room for that pilot bearing to be pushed in. almost the size as this. What size is this? It's 22 millimeter. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna polish this up with a die grinder. The cup used to be this size. What I did was uh, I used my file and held it against it while it's rotating to the size of this. All I need to do is lay it flat and give it a turn. Okay, got it. Yeah, no more play. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Still rocking back and forth, but. a little more. Yeah, this one is a little bit uh, unstable, but I think if I uh, made a jig for this, it would have been perfect. And before I let this go, I'm gonna put some markings on there and I wanna know if I'm really making a contact. It's better to be sure. I'm good. I'm making a contact. Uh, right in this area. I'm not. So I'm higher on... There you go.
That is it. Okay, that's done. Big help. This one is just to make an outline. If you ever want to do this, make a guide. That way this one will not walk out. But this one saves the day. Thank you guys for watching. Next up, I'm going to put some holes on this. Lighten up a little bit. Then I'm going to send it to a machine shop to get it balanced. Both of these. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys back. That is after. Is that like uh, 12 pounds? I think it's 13 pounds. Here it is. Hopefully it'll get balanced. We'll that, find out if I is, is if I really phone number? Yes. Yeah. If you want, I can take a picture of it when it's on the machine. Okay. Alright. You want to balancing fine. it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll just I'll take a picture of it on the oh. machine. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, and then you can put it on there. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh -huh. Alright. We'll see if uh, if I remove any uh, material off that will throw off the balance or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so is this one.